Welcome back, X friends. Wishing you all well in your axe endeavors. Wherever you are, we are working on a concept here on the channel of the quote work axe, unquote. I have many questions and I'm just going off some ideas and hoping to find maybe some principles of axe design that would help people enjoy axes more, you know, and get into them so I won't feel like I'm the only crazy one. Today we have a high test Tasmanian pattern with a lot going for it. It has been outrageously modified after the big race axes, but at just over four pounds is going to still be manageable. That's my hope, that's my theory. So it might be a good test of a heavier work axe if you're following the series, but on a short handle, short handle, definitely with bucking in mind. Now I think in North America, we really don't appreciate the depth and color of Australian axe history, which is kind of awesome. As part of the British Empire and later the British Commonwealth, they cut down a lot of trees to build a country, right? They did. And often they were really big hardwood trees, okay? So a lot of great choppers and history surrounds that, including a huge contribution to design in the Tasmanian pattern. Now I have a video all about this pattern, which is one of my favorites, but this one has been really modified, so let's check it out. I've been waiting impatiently to get to this one. I posted a video, uh, kind of a mail call video when I got this. This is a high test challenger, four and a half pound Tasmanian pattern. High test is an Australian maker. They're gone now, no more high tests in the world. But boy, they made a great ax back in the day. Probably the best Tasmanian pattern, probably, you know, since it's Australian and named for them, right? Uh, but what I did is that, you know, I took this as a, this is a production ax and I just, just for fun, I sent it to Sugar Shack Forge in, in Danville, Vermont. Okay, you can find them online, you can find them on Facebook. One of the few American race ax grinders, okay? We can get a race grind to it. And so we just took this production Tasmanian and made it kind of racy. And boy, it's, it's, it's fun, right? There's, this is, these kind of grinds, these kinds of chisel grinds are done by jigs, all right? You have to use a jig, that's not, hand ground okay i mean it's hand ground but it's not done by hand you gotta use it. and that's the pivot point for the jig right there you'll see those on racing axes this is a 20 degree uh chisel grind 20 degree kind of a work grind for race axes and i was measuring it it's about 17 millimeters in the middle about 14 on the ends you know it's just the shape of the head is not the same as a racing axe, so just you can't do the same things. But, you know, Ethan Goss up there, he put phantom bevels on it, lightened it up a little bit. It's just above four pounds, right in there. Could be, you know, more of a great heavy work axe. And I'm excited because I'm going to pair it with a spotted gum handle. This is Australian spotted gum sent to me by a friend in Australia. It's really interesting. Look at that. It's basically a straight handle with a little palm swell. That's really what it is. This is a very straight, the length is just right. Should come out to be about 29 and a half, 30 inches. And it even comes with some cheesy embellishment, right? This is, somebody put a little ax guy on there, right? Oh, I'm leaving that on. Absolutely, I'm leaving that on. So, you know, that's kind of a hardware store handle, but paired with this, this could be really cool. Spotted gum and a high test ax. Oh, I'm ready. All done. The cheesy embellishment did not remain attached, but I have retained it and I will find something to do with it. No special project tricks with this one, X friends. This head was originally made for handles just like this, so it was a very quick hang. What I'd rather highlight with our remaining time are some interesting things about this handle and handles in general as they relate to our work axe concept. First of all, I don't think many people know much about spotted gum as a handle would. I know I would not if I didn't have some good Australian friends steadily smuggling them out for me, for, but for the most part, this is the traditional and available handle wood throughout the bulk of Aussie axe history. Hickory doesn't grow there, so just as European makers use ash, oak, and beech as good axe handle substitutes, the Aussies use gum. It's much harder than hickory, a bit heavier in most cases too, from what I've seen, with a very dense twisting grain structure, which as far as I can tell makes grain orientation and run out questions pretty much moot. These are some other gum handles which show the very typical shape you'll find them in, either new or with vintage handles, and it's just a very interesting wood. It feels very powerful when you swing it, so I'm glad we have a very traditional Australian big wood chopper to try out. But I like the shape even more, and here's why. 
If you remember from the Efficient Axe series, we had a lot of discussion about straight versus curved handles. Lots of pluses and minuses on both counts, but there is a kind of hybrid solution we can look to in racing axes. These two racing axes show how this racing style is basically straight, basically, with a small ergonomic curve at the palm swell. I've heard this style actually called a tuatahi style handle. And while they are quite thin side to side, they are pretty thick in the chopping plane for extra strength and power transfer. They are also shorter, around 30 inches, as racers prefer. So some of our work axes will have this style handle, including our high test challenger mod there at the bottom. They are very comfortable handles and can help me accurately swing a larger sized head for more power. As I've said, the whole work axe idea comes from people's personal experience with their favorite shorter, lighter felling axes, and I like to see how much of that is really just the shorter handle. Because what we're looking for is essentially what racing axe handles are designed to do. Maximize power and accuracy, and maybe the key is really in the handle. But we'll see. Thank you, X friends, and we'll see you next time.